Hey, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulous. This is Angela. And um, I'm talking, I wanted to talk about um, Dr. Simone and um, Mr. Cecil's, Cecil's divorce that I read about it. I read an article like in People Magazine or something yesterday on their digital edition. And then right after that, I saw a video pop up on YouTube about it. And then um, last night or this morning, I saw a couple more videos um, about it. So, um... <laughs> So I, 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 at first I was kind of like, well, I'm going to talk about it during the review of the show, um, but I guess I'm not because I don't know if I have a lot, a lot, a lot to say about it, but I feel like the show and people's real lives are kind of different in a way. And I guess I think something as a woman who has been um, married twice and divorced once, um, I guess I just think like marriage and divorce are like really serious things um, and... So I guess the first thing that I want to say is that it kind of, I don't want to say that it makes me sad, but it does kind of make me sad in a way that to see the dissolution of any relationship, because I think that when, when we start a relationship, when we start a marriage, there's like, it's like the births of, of something like, you know, it's, it's there are hopes that are invested, there are dreams, there's like a vision that's projected into the future. And when um, a relationship ends when someone makes their transition, whether it's a someone or your relationship, you lose something is lost. You know, like what you thought something was what what you thought was going to happen is not going to happen. So even though 21 years is a long run for a relationship, um, you know, I know that there are people out there who have been married 50 years, 70 years, you know, probably not 100 years. But I mean, there are people out there who have been married for significant amounts of time. You know, I can't think that I know a lot of people who have been married for more than 20 years. Um, you know, I have to think about it some more. And so I think that, you know... And, and I think that people and situations change. And so I think that it's okay to, to change and to grow and to evolve and develop. I don't think that we have to be locked into anything um, forever. I remember when I was in elementary school, um, you know, something happened. I can't even remember what it was, but one of the kids was like, that's not what they said before. They changed. They changed. And my teacher, Miss Canfield, is like, well, good. Um, cookies she used to call us cookies well good cookies because change is good I hope that you change many times in your life she used to let us eat tuna fish and stuff and she oh she used to let us eat in class but not tuna fish and when she'd ask you know um, what's the answer to the question oh 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 you know she had this whole Miss Canfield at St. Benedict's um, school um, Catholic school in Highland Park was my favorite teacher of all times so I could go on and on about her but um so change is good and you know I just really wish them the best apparently um, she filed for divorce in October of 2017 so that was November, December, January. We're just figuring out. We're just hearing about it now. I don't know. You know, I don't know how that happens because I thought that, you know, there were people who searched court records and stayed on top of what was going on with reality stars. But I mean, I guess there's so much, you know, I don't know if you can really keep up with all of the goings on in people's lives. And I don't know if we need to anyway. But the, the story that I read or the understanding that I have is that they were filming the reunion yesterday the day before and that she announced to the women at the reunion that she had gotten a divorce and I don't think that the women knew it what we see on the show is it seems like there's been a turnaround in re their relationship and really I kind of felt like well maybe the the challenge in their relationship was just like some fake tv stuff and not anything real because it seemed like if you already having a challenge in your relationship and then your partner takes twenty five thousand twenty thousand dollars out of the account with with no discussion that seems like that would escalate the situation not de-escalate the situation and it seemed like with that $25,000 being taken out at least the way it was edited it was like oh some Dr. Simone was cool so I was that was kind of confusing to me um so it actually you know yeah so the fact that they're you know they've that 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 they are sep divorced um you know I don't want to say it's not a surprise because you never, ever, ever know what is going on inside of somebody's relationship. 
even when you think you know the dynamic between two people the dynamic between you know husband and wife the dynamic between spouses is just like you just never know you just you can think you you just never know so you know i can't say that i'm surprised but you know i wish both of them well they seem to be you know in the real world lovely people um you know i don't know you know what happened but that's all i just wanted to you know for those of you who haven't gotten the word i noticed um i the reason i did this is because i noticed that you know i get pretty good viewership in you know my be fabulous you world for my married to medicine um video so you know i thought that i might have some you know viewers who weren't aware of what was going on but you know prayers out and up and over you know for all of us in our relationships and health and happiness and joy um and for being able to be bold enough and courageous enough to make decisions that support us in being our best selves um especially you know today since we're talking about dr simone and mr cecil you know best of um you know just much love to them and much support to them as they transition from being a married couple to a non-married couple and you know out here on these you know single people streets which is a whole nother world especially if you've been married for 20 21 years i mean that's like that's a lot um or it could be a lot i don't know you know i guess it depends you know but yes it's a different world out here now than it was 20 years ago sister girl and brother man um brother man brother boy why we say sister girl and brother man but anyway um so that's all just you know best of luck to y'all and you know um you know just best of luck to us all so that's what i got thank you so much for clicking on the video and sticking around i'm angela the channel is be fabulous you if you are a subscriber if you are a returning viewer i appreciate i love you i value you yay you and if you're brand new to the channel if you're not a subscriber i appreciate i love you i value you but go on and subscribe and everybody like comment you know I don't get paid. I, don't, I definitely don't get paid from YouTube, but I'm on the, the path to being paid through likes and shares and comments and subscriptions. So pay me. Pay, run me my money <laughs> and, and by way of likes. If you like it, like it. That's all I got, y'all. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous, you. Peace.